You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Still worrying about the license application? Well, it's on my mind, yes. What do you think? How do you mean? Oh, come on, Holly, you know what I mean. Who would you prefer, your grandpa or me? Well, he's not really my type. Holly. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I don't know, it's difficult, really. But? Who says there's a but? There's always a but. Well, um, grandpa's got bags of experience. But? I think, you know, this place is more your scene and you prove that you know what you're doing. Really? Hmm. You're not just saying that? No. I'm not. Anyway, I'm a bit biased because, uh, no, I fancy you more than my grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Hiya. Hi. You're up and about early, aren't you? Yeah. Is Holly around? Yeah, she's upstairs. Is everything all right? Well, I hope so. What do you mean? Well, this arrived this morning. And what is it? It's from the magistrates. It's about the license for the lock. Where wow. it's arrived. Come on, then. What did it say? Well, I don't know. Why not? Well, I haven't opened it. Oh, Susie. No, but I can't. I'm too nervous. Don't be silly. No, no, I can't. That's why I came round. I don't want to do it on my own. What, celebrate? I'll cry. Oh, come on, don't be silly. Open it. Oh. Well, I can't. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Give it here, then. How could they do this to me? Come on, Susie. It's not the end of the Yeah, well, it flipping well feels like it. I mean, what more could I have done? I'm really sorry, Susie, but like Holly says, I mean, it's not going to change anything, is it? I mean, you're still going to be doing the same job. Well, that's the whole point. I wanted it to change things. God, this is so typical. Come on, Susie. No. Look, I'm sorry, but it's always the same. The old boys' network strikes again. What are you talking about? Well, your grandfather knows the right people in the right places, doesn't he? I mean, what chance did I have? I should have known this was going to happen. Come on, that's unfair. Is it? I deserve this license, you know. But I lost because I'm not best mates with the old fogies at the town hall, and that strikes me as a bit unfair. Susie. I'm sorry, Mrs. Hart. That's OK. I, I know it must be disappointing for you. Yeah, just a bit. Oh, come on, it'll be all right. He's not that bad, is he? I know. And I, I'm sure my dad won't gloat or anything. He's not like that. No, I'm sure he won't. But it doesn't change the fact that he's got the one thing I most wanted. But you've got Holly there with you. I mean, you're still both in it together. And she's a dab hand at keeping a grandpa in line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I suppose. What? What is it? Well, no, it's nothing. It's just that, you know, I'm not, I'm not really going to be around that much for a while, am I? Well, why not? Well, I go back to college today, remember? I'm off now with Mummy coming. Yeah, I suppose so. Better make sure everything's ship shape for the new boss. Look, I know you're really angry about everything, but it might not be that bad. No, just fairly bad. <sighs> just keep reading it over and over again, just hoping that it might suddenly say what I want. Look, we have to think about what we were facing a few weeks ago, you know? Pete as a new licensee. Now, that was worth getting depressed about. I am not depressed. I'm angry. It's not fair, Hull. After all I've done. Yeah, well, look, Grandpa might not do such a bad job. That's not the point. I thought you were supposed to be on my side anyway. Well, I was. I am. Listen, what I actually said was I thought you would be the best person for the job. Look, it, it just hasn't gone your way this time, and... You have to face that. Just, just try and look on the bright side, OK? Listen, we both do a job we enjoy, which allows us to be together a lot of the time. OK? And as far as bosses go, look, if we do have to have one, well, Grandpa isn't such a bad person to be stuck with, is he? No, I suppose not. No. Thank you. It's all right. <laughs> let you know we have another dinner invitation oh who from dad ah so that's definite approval from the father then. Mm -hmm. it looks like it i think our definitely what's happened with liam he's just happy that we're you know, draped 
Yes, <laughs> I suppose so. <laughs> now, he comes up to me this morning and um, he says he wants a quiet word, I'm mm, thinking. There you go. Yes, exactly. And um, anyway, he shuts the door and says that he's right behind me, as long as it makes me happy and as long as there are no drugs. Not that you need his permission. No, exactly. And it's nice, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And then, and then Mum comes out with, so what do we call you now? Gay or lesbian? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, hmm, how about Holly? Oh. It's here. What? The new sign. Come and see. Little boy, isn't he, for a little time? Mm. There we go. Look at that. Marvellous. It looks great. Well done, Grandpa. Thank you. Grandpa, you're very proud of you. Yeah, I know. Right. I think this calls for a celebration. Why don't you all go in and have a drink on the house? Go on, go and put yours in. Come on, Drake. Come on. But after Friday night, I'm not so sure. But your grand nearly died in that car crash hole. It's a lot to come to terms with. Just give her a little bit more time. I don't know, but it's been weeks, you know, and she is still so confused. I thought she would have improved a little bit by now. Come here. Hmm. <laughs> it's nice. Mm. Mm. Oh, sorry. Mm. Don't mind me. Claire, I didn't hear you come in. Oh. Don't look so worried, Hon. I think it's great you two have finally got it together. Mm. You do? Yeah, of course. In fact, I think there must be a bit of a love bug in the air. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, come on then, don't spare us the details. Is it anyone we know? Yeah, you know him, all right. In fact, I'm really pleased you two are the first people to find out. Why? Don't get me wrong, Hon, but... If anybody should understand what it's like to have a relationship where people don't approve, then it's you. Well, come on then, don't keep us in suspense. It's Pete. Pete Callum? Unless you know any other Pete's. Claire, do you know what you're doing? Yes, why? Well, it's just that the Pete Callum I know isn't the sort of man you'd want to get involved mm. with. Oh, then you obviously don't know him like I do. Trust us, Claire. Turn around and walk away before it's too late. I don't think you're in a position to criticise Susie. I mean, what do they say about people in glass houses? I'm sorry. The situations are completely different. Whatever you end up doing with Pete, you'll regret it. I can promise you that. And what do you know anyway? I mean, it's not like either of you two would have the first idea what it's like to share a bed with a man. Right, Pete? <sighs> Excuse me, where do you think you're going? Research. No, you don't. You can't just walk in there. Leave it. Oh, who does she think she Look, is? just let it go. She'll just have to learn for herself. The hard way. <laughs>